The Chevy Avalanche is a little different from your typical pickup truck. Most pickup trucks, they have a separate cab where you sit and a separate bed where your stuff goes. But the Avalanche, it's all one body. There's no seam here. That's because the Avalanche is basically a Chevy Suburban, their big SUV, with the back cut off and a pickup truck bed put here. That brings some advantages. An advantage to the single body structure is that it really improves cargo flexibility. The Avalanche, it's something of a transformer on wheels. When I load my kayak into the back here, it's not going to fit with the tailgate up. This is common in a lot of crew cab pickup trucks. The beds aren't all that long. But the Avalanche, it's got a trick up its sleeve, and I'll show you. The surprise is that the Avalanche's rear seat folds down, and there's a passageway to get back into the pickup truck bed. Fold down the backrests. You fold down this panel. And then long items can slide forward into the cabin, giving you effectively a longer bed length. Now, if you want to haul bulkier items using this extra length, you can even take out this rear window. But wait, there's more. One of the hassles of using a crew cab pickup truck for family duty is that once you fill the seats, you run out of room inside to store your stuff, places where it will stay dry and secure. But the Avalanche, it's literally got you covered. For one thing, there's bins on either side of the pickup truck bed. You can put stuff in here, close them up, you can lock them. Also, the Avalanche comes with a three-piece cover for the bed. You can take the cover off and haul big stuff. But when they're down, it's waterproof and you can lock it all at the tailgate so everything stays secure. Inside the Avalanche, you'll find a lot of the same pros and cons that you find in GM Suburban or Tahoe or even their high-end pickup trucks. On the plus side, it's a very attractive dashboard. Lots of wood material, quite nice. Also, front seats, they're firm, they're supportive. On the negative side, in the dashboard, especially climate controls, a lot of small buttons. Also, the steering wheel, it adjusts in course steps rather than a continuous motion, and it doesn't telescope. The advantages that come from basing the Avalanche on the Suburban, they also show up when it comes to driving the truck. For one thing, the ride. It's terrific. It's one of the best rides we've experienced in a pickup truck. In fact, it's a lot like a good family sedan. Another nice thing about the Avalanche, it's quiet inside. When it comes to handling, you're not going to confuse the Avalanche for a sports car. You know, this is still a pretty big truck. Uh, the steering's responsive, but there's quite a bit of body roll. Stability control is standard on the Avalanche. Another feature we like, the four-wheel drive system, you can leave it engaged all the time. So, when the wheels start to slip, it automatically transfers power to them. When you go out in the snow, you don't have to worry about whether you've turned on four-wheel drive or not. Now, an Avalanche like this one, it weighs north of three tons, 6,000 pounds. That's several hundred pounds more than a Chevy Silverado which shares the same 5.3 liter engine that's the base engine here in this Avalanche. What that means is acceleration's a bit slower. However, on the highway, the engine's relaxed. If you need more power, you can buy a bigger V8. One frustration with driving the Avalanche, because of the high bed in the back, it's really hard to see things behind you. It creates a huge rear blind zone. We really recommend you get an Avalanche with the optional rear view camera. Now, the Avalanche isn't going to win you bragging rights for who can tow the biggest trailer or haul the heaviest load, but it's still plenty capable. Combine that with it being a pleasant family hauler, and you've got a really great choice.